After banning officials from overseas trip, Governor Adeleke embarks on medical leave to the United States. Can you imagine? So, so what these politicians say? You ban the officials from going on the medical trips abroad. Now you have gone on medical vacation abroad. So what, what does that mean? Does it mean there are no hospitals in the state to give you the medical treatment that you need? Eh? I don't understand. But let's dive into the details and understand why Adeleke could set such law and then violate it by himself. Weeks after imposing a ban on foreign travel for government officials due to financial constraint, Oshu State Governor Ademola Adeleke has embarked on a trip to the United States for medical reasons. The Whistler has lent. Um, so on October 23, 2023, Adeleke announced a suspension of all non-essential foreign trips for government officials until the end of the year, citing financial constraints and plans to invest heavily in infrastructure. So foreign trips for top officials for the rest of the year are hereby suspended unless there is a direct emergency to be authorized by the governor, a delegate stated during a state executive council meeting. So he emphasized the need for austerity measures, urging cabinet members and other officials of the administration to make personal sacrifices in light of the state's challenging um, financial situation. So our needs from office from office to accommodation are much are much, but our resources are limited. A delicate remark. So we have to devise a copy mechanism pending the time our funding situation improves. However, findings by the Westline revealed that a delicate travel to the United States in the second week of November for knee surgery. So according to him, uh, to high ranking officials. Okay, how ranking government sources are delicate is expected to remain in the United States until December or possibly January for proper recovery following the surgery. Can you imagine? This may prevent a delicate from attending its one year anniversary ceremony scheduled for November 27, 2023. Hmm. So the governor's decision to travel abroad for medical treatment has raised questions about his earlier directive banning foreign trips for other officials. So the timing of his trip just weeks after imposing the travel ban could be perceived as contradictory. So meanwhile, a delegate spokesperson Olawale Rashid has said the governor embarked on a short working vacation to Europe and Asia to finalize partnership deals with investors and development uh, partners. So according to him, Adeleke has not gone on vacation since assuming office as a year ago, office a year ago. So he quoted his principal as saying, the Ocean people have the right to know about the movement of their governor. This is a democracy. So my masters are Ocean people who elected me into office and to whom I am surely accountable. So my trip is, however, it's, however, a working one as I will be meeting foreign partners who are geared, eager to join several sectors of our state economy. The last year has been rewarding as we have stabilized the state from inheriting rot. So we are reconstructing and simultaneously delivering good governance. That is why our 2024 budget is tagged budget of reconstruction and recovery. So he added, in one year, we place Ocean State on a path of sustainable development, upgrading critical sectors like education, health, culture, and entertainment, water, sports, digital economy, workers' welfare, infrastructures, agriculture. So we cap it with a multi-billion naira infrastructure plan now under implementation. So I thank the Ocean people for their continuous support and prayers. At home and abroad, I am committed to delivering on our five-point agenda for a better life for our people. Hmm. So this is the key now. A delegate banned uh, ban on the 23rd, banned all government officials from making uh, foreign trips except when it is a genuine emergency. Now 
he's having a knee problem he has now traveled to the united states for medical surgery and likely to stay there at the end of january end of end of december or uh, early part of january but he is coming out to tell the world that his trip abroad is not to the united states and it's not for medical trip he's traveling to asia and europe and all of that to meet business uh, potential investors okay who are interested in contributing into the economy of Ocean State. These were his statements. <laughs> are you sure? These people are politicians. The more you look, the less you see. I'm sure he will find a better way to paint what he's doing so as not to create that contradiction between what he's doing and what he the the instruction he passed on, suspending the 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 government officials from traveling uh, abroad. <laughs> So somebody saying, what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. You cannot stop others from doing a thing you, you cannot stop doing. Yes. So you cannot stop others from doing a thing that you yourself cannot stop doing. Can you remember Animal Kingdom, which says all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Adeleke is a special breed. His mother, Indigbo, and married Indigbo. Can you imagine how many people in Oshun State has that trait. The beauty of democracy is that nothing is permanent. We should people like his performance, so he will be re-elected if otherwise we shall see the result. As a dancing comical governor, he can go for medical check up uh, medical check up Abby, anywhere he likes. This must be his supporter. Nice word, this must be supporter. Rhetoric liars in government. Eh? So there was a provision in the blanket ban a provision in the blanket ban at any rate he is not an official of government but the government itself <laughs> so you can always go to court if you are not happy with the decision to seek medical help abroad after all we are in a democracy hmm that's this person again has written another one now oh, wow so and again he said an extreme emergency so he, do we say he's having an emergency now and can we prove that he went to the United States? So I say I expected so much from Governor Deleke, but I'm not seeing strong uh, output from his government since inauguration. Just asking if it is a cause that when you take up leadership in Africa, you will no longer know anything. You will start doing those things you were against and need to understand what is really the issue. Clowns for governors. <laughs> uh, now, wow. The intention of the writer is clearly to paint Adeleke as a man who doesn't keep to his words. This is negative journalism. He said if the going abroad becomes necessary, it will be granted. He has every right to travel to anywhere for anything. Look at Akere Dolu. He has been in and out of Germany for a better part of this year on medical leave. So what are you saying now? What are you writing? Positive journalism, Abi. <laughs> They ask Amo, why would he have knee injury? Kukuma, dancing governor, Abi. So that is the issue. So he's, he's so the only reason he's having knee injury is because he dances too much at his old age. So he should just calm down. All right. So the Adeleke, after banning the abandoning foreign trips, has undertaken another foreign trip for medical reasons. Is there an emergency? We need to find out later. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.